Hi, I'm Skylar. Among its many features and many benefits, the iPad is especially well designed for those with special needs. And I know this because I've spoken directly with many of them. One of the things that makes iPad a little bit special is that it's very easy for people to access and to understand. It's intuitive. And so what we see often is that very young children, even those as young as two, can learn to navigate and to interact with the iPad. One feature that Apple introduced about a year and a half ago now was guided access. And I'll show you what that looks like. If I go to settings and scroll down a little bit to general, down all the way to accessibility, learning. Also take note, beneath learning is physical and motor, assistive touch, and home click speed. Both these things can help a person with special needs to access the iPad. If I tap Guided Access and I switch it on, Guided Access keeps the iPad in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. To start Guided Access, triple click the Home button in the app you want to use. You could also set a passcode so that the person who is using the Guided Access app wouldn't be able to exit it unless they knew the passcode. You're probably wondering, well, why would I do this? It's quite simple. If someone wants to use a specific application in order to teach a certain thing, and a person who's learning can exit that application simply by pressing the home button inadvertently, it could potentially compromise the learning experience. And that said, multi-touch gestures, and many other features of the iPad, which for most users make it flexible and make things like multitasking possible, actually might make it more difficult for the learner in order to engage the content. So I've turned on guided access, and I'll go to an application. Let's say paper, it's a drawing app. So if I weren't a person who could use language to express myself, I might do a little bit better by drawing. So I've got a pen and ink, and here I am drawing. But if I swipe with four fingers, I've suddenly gone to settings. Immediately, you can see how this would hamper a person's ability to express themselves. So I'll turn on guided access by triple-clicking my home button. Click, 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 and tap guided access. Hardware buttons are always off, touch is on, and motion is on. I'll tap start. I'm going to set my passcode and confirm it. So guided access has started. If I press the home button, I can't leave. If I swipe up with four fingers, nothing happens. To the side, same thing. So now you see that the the whole thing has been simplified and focused on drawing, or whatever else it might be. That way, it makes it possible for a teacher and a student to be right there with one another. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.